Alright. First thing to do is check your about this PC page. Go below to the Windows specification section and make sure that your version is 22H2 and your OS build to be 22621 or higher. If you have a lower OS build, even if you are on a 22H2 version, not all the features that I'll be showing in the video will be available to you. Again that's 22H2 build 22621 or higher. Okay, now that's clear, the first thing I want to show you is the taskbar overflow. Before, when you open many apps which causes the taskbar icons to overflow, or the taskbar icons is more than the taskbar can display, those icons at the end will be gone, you cannot see them anymore, and there's no way to make it appear. They just fall into oblivion. But now in the new version, when an icon overflow happens, we will have an ellipsis here, and clicking it will show all the other icons that have overflowed from the taskbar. It's a really simple but necessary update, if you ask me. So thank you Microsoft for giving us this, at last. Next is another great update for the File Explorer. Like the browsers, we now have tabs on the File Explorer. You don't have to open multiple File Explorer windows anymore, since you can open multiple tabs from one File Explorer window. No more cluttered Explorer windows all over. I usually open multiple instances of File Explorer when working, so this is one of my favorite updates here in the list. In case you did not receive this feature yet, you can watch my video on how you can force update Windows 11 File Explorer to have this tab feature. Check out the video link that will pop up at the top of the screen, or get the link from the video description below. Next is the Start Menu Layout Personalization Update. Before, we only have one fixed layout for the Start Menu. That is three rows of app icons, then the list of recommended or previously opened apps and files below. Now when you go to the Settings, then Personalization, then go to Start, we now have three options here for the Start Menu Layout. This is the default I'm saying earlier, with three rows of app icons. Now we can set it to more pins, which will show more rows of the pinned app icons. As you can see here, all my pinned app icons are readily showing now. Or you can choose more recommendations, where the recommended section in the taskbar will show more items, as you can see the pinned section now only shows two rows. I prefer more pins for this, so I'll set it to that. Windows has also improved how we snap windows. First, you need to check first in the system settings, then in the multitasking area, and make sure that you have the snap windows enabled. If this is disabled, you cannot use this feature. See that little bar that appears in the top middle part of the screen when I drag a window? That's it. When you drag a window into that bar, it will give you options to a snap layout, then you can choose what position the current window you are dragging can take. Then you can snap other windows into place as usual. A really nice a very much more convenient way to snap windows. Okay. For the fifth new feature that I like is the live captions. To enable it, just click on the Wi-Fi, volume and battery group here in the taskbar. Then expand the accessibility section. From the list here, you will notice a new item for live action. We can enable it. During first use, you will need to download and install it. Just click on download and wait for it to finish installing. Alright. Now we are ready to caption anything. When the system hears anything playing in the audio, Live Caption will automatically transcribe it for you. Let me try to play an MP3 file here. Efficiency mode is a feature in Windows 11, which is a part of Microsoft's sustainable software initiative. It lowers the process priority of background tasks to allocate more resources to the tasks in the foreground or the active app. It also deploys EcoQOS or the quality of service package that reduces the clock speed for efficient tasks. To there you go. It, press the transcription is pretty much accurate as well. Impressive. A really big help for the hearing impaired Windows users. All right. The sixth and last feature that I really like in 22H2 is the new built-in video editor named Clipchamp. This will be pre-installed to Windows 11 now as the default video editor. Clipchamp is a web-based fully featured video editor. I still need to test it more to explore all of its features and probably create a dedicated video for it. You can use this to record your screen, your camera capture, or both at the same time, and my favorite part is the built-in text-to-speech feature, which has an huge support for many languages and accents, which all can produce a natural-sounding audio output. Let me try something here using English with Filipino accent. Hi, please subscribe to Ribi Trivia channel. Thanks. Isn't that great? After recording, you can readily use that to your video composition. I'll definitely explore Clipchamp more and let you know what I think. Okay. That's 6 of 6. There are many other major updates in 22H2, but these 6 features are what got me most excited about, so I thought of sharing them with you, in case you didn't got the notice. That's it for this one. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nobody air. 
kindly subscribe to Ribi Trivia channel. Thanks.